Chapter 3, Control Measures Safety in confined spaces is paramount, and implementing control measures can significantly reduce hazards. Here are some key strategies. Isolation Procedures Isolation procedures help safeguard workers from various hazards. Electrical isolation, or lockout procedures, prevent accidental electrocution. Stored energy isolation shields workers from unexpected releases of energy. Isolation from moving equipment avoids accidental activation, and isolation from harmful substances prevents exposure to toxic materials. Purging. Purging involves replacing the atmosphere within a confined space to remove potential hazards. Purging can be done using air, waste, steam, or inert gases, depending on the specific hazard present. Adequate ventilation ensures a continuous supply of fresh air, helping to maintain a safe oxygen level and remove harmful substances. Testing for harmful substances, regular testing is crucial to detect changes in oxygen levels, the presence of combustible gases, or toxic hazards. Proper test considerations and procedures should always be followed to ensure accurate results. Personal protective equipment, like respirators, gloves, and chemical splash goggles, provide a final line of defense against hazards. They protect workers from direct exposure to harmful substances. These control measures form the backbone of safety in confined spaces. Understanding and implementing them effectively can significantly mitigate risks, ensuring a safer work environment for everyone.